Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to get Xenia Canary finally running with Minecraft without any issues whatsoever. So the first thing we need to look at is the config, which by the way, anything I use like the application is going to be in the description down below. You're going to need Horizon, a USB, and then you're of course going to need an Xbox. But the title update for Minecraft is what's going to fix the game from crashing. So links down below in the description is probably going to be uploaded to Google Drives. Let's see, the first thing we need to look at is the license mask, which is preset to zero. We need to set this to negative one because we want DLCs and we want the full game. We don't want the demo. This will also initiate titles to actually be properly installed as well. Next would be the full screen. Some devices have issues with full screening where it zooms in. Uh, if you have any issues with it, just disable it. It's kind of a uh, trial and error thing. And then we need to go down to the storage section. And then we want to paste in this from the description as well. And this will allow us to use Horizon with the USB to inject our games. This will pre-create the folders so it makes it a little bit easier for you. So next we need to jump over to the USB that we have plugged in. And we're going to format it. I know you probably don't want to format it, but we got to make sure it's formatted to NTFS with a quick format. And then we want to create a folder called content. It is uppercase. Well, if I could spell content right without an M. And then we can launch Horizon here. And since that content directory is already there on the drive, it'll automatically de detect the USB. Then you just inject Minecraft. Now you're done with Horizon at the moment. And you want to come here where it says 584111F7. Yeah, F7. This is the ID for Minecraft. We need to create a folder. And of course, that folder name will be in the description, or you could just copy it on the screen. This is for the title update for Minecraft. And then you're going to need that title update. So let me grab that title update here. Let me see, it should be in my content directory. There we are. And then you want to drag these two files, which is the headers and the actual file that contains the updates, into this directory. All right, now that this is finished, let's uh, pull out this USB and we'll jump right into the Xbox. Thank you all for tuning in this tutorial and we'll see you all in the next video. All right, now that we're on the Xbox here, let's go ahead and open Xenia. And then we're going to browse to the actual game for Minecraft which should be this bar right here. It is the one that contains a D and it should be this. And now it should load. And a quick way to tell the difference between the title update and the regular update is the Mojang logo will actually be a little bit different. So if the title update did not work it'll be an unbloated uh microsoft logo if the title update worked which you're about to see now then it shows this small new mojang logo and 
And as you can also tell from the background now, it is the all the technically new tutorial world. The menus work in everything, so click continue playing offline because we're not playing online. And there we go. We're now playing Minecraft. And saves are now on your removable drive. So thank you all for tuning in to this tutorial. I hope this helps a lot of people out. If not, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and help all of you. Till then, see you in the next video.